Dragon Con, crispy here in 2016. Candace McClure, Candace, welcome back to Dragon Con. Hi. Woo. This is like your uh, third, 14th, 50th time. I don't know, you've been kind of coming a lot lately, so. Have I? I don't know, it's been a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of the same, but different. Of course, there's always so many people here doing incredible things. Um, Lots of I, costumes and out, so. I just love it because it's like freedom of expression, you mm -hmm. know? That's what the fan events are. People can come here, they can feel like they're a part of something, they right. can feel a sense of belonging and community, they can feel, you know, to be themselves. I just saw somebody with a sign saying, are you a boy or a girl? I'm like, that's awesome. Oh, nice. Because, <laughs> I mean, who cares really? But, right, right, yeah, yeah. That space to, you know, everything's okay. Kind of that, 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 that comfort zone, it's like, it, you can be yourself here, we're totally kind of cool with that, so. Self-expression is a really important thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you be wandering the floors? Like, you, you talk about you know, people are doing costumes, is that something that, you're interested in doing it at some point? Walk around in some kind of cool costume? Oh my God, I have no propensity for that whatsoever. <laughs> I am so amazed at the journeymen, yeah. the people who make their costumes, um, the details. Every time I uh, adjudicate a, a costume contest, you con yeah, right, right, right. I'm floored at the level of detail that people they, go through. They the do work. a lot of work. Yeah, I know we've had a lot of professionals come here and they're like, well, we see your costumes. Yeah. You guys put more details in than we do in some cases, it Amazing. seems like. so. They love it. Yeah. They're craftspeople. Oh, it's, it's, their, it's their livelihood in, in some cases, so. So, oh my God, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm, so no, I'm thinking of something because my friend Kiahu, you guys might know him from Teen Wolf. He was mm -hmm. on Teen Wolf. Um, Little known fact about Kiahu, he is an amazing craftsperson. Nice. And he has an incredible Assassin's Creed costume. Okay. That he the, made. the hoods and the whole oh ribbon. That'll be it really excellent. Amazing. And he did all that work himself. And that's something that uh, he just, he, like a hobby that they he picked just up. Does that's it. so yeah. cool. He just loves it. Yeah. I'm terrible at sewing and fabrication and things like that. So I'm like, give me something to wear and I'll wear it. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm, I feel terrible, like in the best way possible, walking around and seeing all the work that our fans put into yeah. things here. So, my grandmother was a seamstress, mm -hmm. uh, so I should probably sew better than I do. <laughs> but no I pressure. stick to like curtains and pillows. That's more than I've got. So, <laughs> well done. I, I I play with puppets. That's that's kind of my thing. So, Hi, Randall. That's Randall. He's he's had a rough night apparently. So, well, he's shocked to be here. He looks it. Yeah, he had a long <laughs> night. So. So you got a lot of stuff cool going on at the convention. You've got some panels. Uh, you got an 11:30 on Saturday. It is a busy schedule, yeah. uh, which is great. Um, uh, lot signing, of course, I'll yeah. be down on the floor. 11:30 Saturday, BSG panel. Okay. 2:30 on Sunday, um, and then another 11:30 on Monday. If anybody is still alive, we'll still be here awake. on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I think it should be fine. Um, and of course, you know the usual. Yeah. Photo ops. And just come by and say hi. It's always That'd great when people are there. We get to chat with them. Mm -hmm. you, you, get, you get that connection and things like that. That's what it's about. That would just really fun. If you had the time, though, what panels would you be going to? Like, what are your fandoms? Are, well, are there any shows or books or movies that you're into? Let's talk about oh, that. Oh, my goodness. I should have prepared Geek on the for this spot. Question. There was a quiz. Um, we warned you about this. <laughs> Usually people send me questions beforehand so that I can Keep Google the answers. Just, there. Um, <laughs> Forgot the tablet, let's go. Um, what have I been binge watching on TV? Gosh. Um, Are you on the Stranger Things train like everyone else right now? I was there, just there it is. about to there, say Stranger yes. Things. Yes. I was just, you know, maybe because I'm an 80s baby mm -hmm. um, and so much of the styling of that mm -hmm. show is dangerous to spot on. Yeah. Um, I have kind of a subversive theory about it though. Go for it. No. no, I'm right. going to get somebody in trouble. It it's just fine. reminded me a lot of another show All right. that well, I there's... was on, on Netflix. <laughs> just a little. A kind of dot connecting there. I've been having that experience quite a bit lately, which mm. is very cool, um, but also shows how long I've been doing this job. <laughs> Because I watch things and I go, oh wow, that's that's a Battlestar reference. Yeah, you know, especially stuff that's filming in the same city. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I see the sets. I feel like you're, you're seeing some a lot of familiarity and things like that. I had a crazy. I don't know, I had to sort of check myself for a minute because I was, <laughs> I was watching a show, it was a sci-fi show, and I'd already had made some sort of BSG links to this show uh -huh. early on, just little things. Little, little hints and yeah. things. Um, and then this character shows up and I was like, 
this is deep. Like, this is... Then I started looking at all the other characters. Right, right. And I was like, these are all... We've become yeah. archetypes. Right. Like, the same way that the Star Trek people... I, I definitely think that's a great not assessment. they're the same. Because Star Trek is Star Trek. Let me not... That's a different thing there. But it's definitely... It's on its own level. It's on its own... Let's not go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm part of a legacy. I, I definitely, I would definitely say so. You know? Yeah. That is now coming full circle and informing new shows mm -hmm. that will probably go on for yeah. five years, I hope. Because I have friends on those shows. Yeah, yeah they, let the friends good. keep working. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, <laughs> you mentioned legacy and foundation. And I think that's definitely yeah. true. We're definitely seeing a lot of that. Uh, and, and a lot of fan, like even fan things, pro professional things. So it's the Star Trek fan movie. Y yes, I've heard about this. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there for that. So I mean, these are people who just love what they're doing and they're mm -hmm. doing it really well. Mm -hmm. um, Reka Tori. Yes, she was on it or is going to be on it. She okay, said she had such an amazing time that, that the she level did the of professionalism back. and work and the sets and everything were just fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to see it. I, that's that's a really cool thing. Like when you see fans be able to, like, from a professional and a personal level, be like, hey, I, I love this thing growing up, yeah. and now we're getting to work on these things with the Star Trek fan films and things like that, so. But what's really cool about technology is that that's possible. Yeah. Is that that thing that you sat and you watched and you dreamed about being a part of, you can actually go out and do that. It's tangible at that a, point. In a real way. Well, let's not talk about the fact that Star Trek basically created our modern lives. Uh, that, then that's entirely true. From technology to a lot of uh, 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 sociological things, it's excellent. Yeah. I can't wait to think. So the holodeck is sort of almost there. We're so close. Because we've got VR, mm -hmm. although VR's got a long way to go. Right. I've been listening to my Tim Ferriss <laughs> podcasts. Nice. I don't know anything about it. I just know Tim Ferriss. <laughs> you, you, you know the right buzz names to drop there, and that's it's good. And we'll take VR. that. Um, uh, so we've almost got a holodeck. Thank you, Ron Moore. Nice, yeah. Um, and we almost have a, what is it? Um, a what, the replicator with the, the 3D printing and things like, yeah, we're seeing that with food as well. We're so close. Yeah, um, really, we had a BB-8 here earlier today and a lot of that was like 3D printed from just, I'm like, this is the world in which we live now. 3D printing and it's is really going to change cool. everything. And from an environmental standpoint, I'm really excited about it. Yes, Yeah. a lot of green stuff behind that, which is really, really excellent. I love the future. And I think it's kind of, kind of cool that we're living. I love the future. Little, little four-year-old me would be like, so wait, you have these things? No, no. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And the, but the phone yeah. in my pocket is more powerful than what they went to the moon on originally. Things like that. And it's, it's sci when science fiction awesome. becomes science reality, it's really yeah. excellent. So, well, before you get going, we've got random. You got to go already? Well, yeah, it's about that time. I'm sorry. Damn we have, it. It's one of those things. Well, they're working you, they're working you a lot. Okay, so sure. I, I've been told we have to get you back right. to your work. So random bucket of questions here. Draw one at random. Hopefully, uh, it won't be too crazy, or maybe it will be. We don't know what's going to be in this bucket of questions here. I think I was supposed to plug the things that I'm doing next, right? We did that earlier, but we're going to plug it again, too. We're going to do it later? Yeah, we'll do Shameless. it again. Shameless. Shameless self -promotion. We are all about promotions here. Don't worry. <laughs> so. Okay. All right, what you got? What's your question? What song do you have to sing out loud anytime you hear it? What's your rock out song? Oh, that's a really good one. Um... Are you a Journey person, or are we going to more 80s? Journey is a classic, and I do rock out to Journey. It's actually <laughs> one of my um, audition songs. Oh, nice. So I put my head, when I'm driving to my audition, I have a set list of songs, mm. and I'm just like, right. But lately, uh -huh. lately, um, it's been. It's okay. So, Dirty Little Secret. <laughs> I'm a Katy Perry fan. Freaking That's excellent, it. yeah. And Roar has got to be. It's a very empowering song. Uh, it's, 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 it's such it's such a power drive. It's and yeah. auditions. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking over the world. <laughs> Just gonna get this job. You gonna get there and roar. So that's and that and that's the mentality you're gonna take with you this weekend. You're just gonna out there and you're gonna own it and see the fans. And yeah. you're gonna see the fans on Saturday. Yes. At 11:30. Sunday 2:30. Yeah. Yes. Monday 11:30. And then Monday you're gonna be at the table practically uh, all, the all the time when it's open. You're so. See. Awesome. So, thank Candace, you thank you again so much for coming out to Dragon Con. And fans everyone first. Sorry. No, that's all you're good. No, you're good. No, fans are all the way. So, thank you so much. And everyone, Dragon Con, have a great time.